Hey, welcome to a new video. Millions of people around the world tune into cartoons daily, be it on TV, streaming services, or in theaters. However, cartoons are not merely amusing and touching. Sometimes they harbor secrets and mysteries that astonish both viewers and critics. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 30. The Little Mermaid is a beloved Disney animated film that tells the enchanting story of Ariel, a young mermaid who dreams of exploring the human world. The cartoon is set in the underwater kingdom of Atlantica and follows Ariel's journey to pursue her love for the human prince Eric, despite the opposition from her father, King Triton. In a scene from Little Mermaid, during the introduction of King Triton to a crowd of mermen, sharp-eyed viewers can spot some cameo appearances. Alongside the well-known Disney characters Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and Donald Duck, another iconic character, Kermit the Frog, can be seen if you look closely. Kermit the Frog, created by Jim Henson, is the beloved leader of the Muppets, known for his distinctive voice and his role as the host of The Muppets Show. Kermit's cameo appearance in The Little Mermaid is a playful nod to the collaboration between Disney and the Jim Henson Company, responsible for creating The Muppets. Cameo appearances like these are not uncommon in Disney films, as they often include subtle references or appearances of characters from other Disney properties. Number 29. Tom and Jerry is an iconic animated series that has entertained audiences of all ages for decades. Created by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera in 1940, this beloved cat and mouse duo has become a staple in the world of animation. The series is known for its humor, clever gags, and the endless chase between Tom, the house cat, and Jerry, the clever mouse. A notable character in Tom and Jerry is Mammy Two-Shoes, also known as Mammy or Dina. Mammy Two-Shoes is a recurring character in the series and appears in 19 different Tom and Jerry cartoons. She's depicted as an African-American lady responsible for taking care of the house where Tom and Jerry reside. While it's unclear whether Mammy is the owner of the house or merely the housekeeper, she often finds herself in the midst of the chaos caused by the mischievous cat and mouse. For years, Mammy Two-Shoes' face remained hidden, adding to the intrigue surrounding her character. However, in one episode titled Saturday Evening Puss, Mammy's face was finally revealed. This was a significant moment for fans who had always wondered what she looked like. Number 28. South Park is known for its satirical and cheeky humor, often addressing societal and political issues. In the seventh episode of the 18th season of South Park, titled Grounded Vindaloop, the creators explore the concept of virtual reality. In this episode, the main characters, Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny, acquire an Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. However, they become uncertain about what's real and what's part of the virtual reality simulation. This confusion leads to a series of comedic situations as they attempt to determine their actual existence. The episode delves into the blurring boundaries between the real world and the virtual world, highlighting the potential disorientation and uncertainty brought by immersive technologies. It critiques the growing popularity of virtual reality devices, offering humorous commentary on society's fascination with technology and its impact on our perception of reality. Throughout the episode, the experiences of the boys in both the real world and the virtual reality simulation become increasingly intertwined, creating a sense of confusion and comedic chaos. Number 27. You've probably seen several Pixar movies in your lifetime, but did you know that almost all Pixar movies contain a hidden message? This message, which you may have noticed before but ignored it, is the letter A and number 113. You can find it everywhere, from Toy Story and Cars to The Hunger Games and some Marvel movies. In 1995's Toy Story, it's on a license plate, and in 2003's Finding Nemo, it was on a camera. It always seems to be hidden somewhere. This hidden message, while strange, would have a logical explanation. A113 is the number of the animation classroom at the California Institute of Arts. This is where many of the animators went to school. Number 26. The Simpsons, an animated series created by Matt Groening, is known for its satirical humor and the uncanny ability to make eerily accurate predictions about real-world events. In the 1997 episode titled The Mysterious Voyage of Homer, there's a scene where the cameras transition from Marge and Homer's upstairs bedroom to the family's living room. If you pay close attention to the passing floorboards, you'll notice that the telephone wires are labeled with tags representing the NSA, FBI, and CIA. This hints at the concept of government surveillance and suggests that such agencies might be monitoring people's phone conversations even within their own homes. This episode was released in 1997, and in 2013, Edward Snowden exposed global surveillance programs by leaking classified documents to journalists. These documents reveal that intelligence agencies were indeed collecting vast amounts of data on citizens' communications. 
Another reference can be found in The Simpsons movie, released in 2007. In this film, Marge, Lisa, and Bart are portrayed as fugitives trying to save the town of Springfield from destruction. While discussing their fugitive status on a train, Lisa warns her family members to be cautious about what they say. However, Marge reassures Lisa that no one from the government is eavesdropping. Unbeknownst to Marge, the NSA is depicted as listening in on the conversation and planning to apprehend the family immediately. Number 25 Everyone knows the story of Mowgli, the boy raised by wolves trying to live in a human village. In the Disney animated film The Jungle Book, there's an interesting story behind the characters known as the Vultures. Originally, the Vultures were intended to be voiced by the iconic British band The Beatles. Brian Epstein, the band's manager, approached Disney with the idea of having the Beatles appear in the film. As a result, Disney's animators created the Vultures specifically to be voiced by the band members. However, when Brian Epstein presented the idea to the Beatles, John Lennon reportedly vetoed the concept. Instead, Lennon suggested that Brian should tell Disney to hire Elvis Presley for the role. This ultimately led to the Beatles not providing the voices for the Vultures in The Jungle Book. Nonetheless, the animators decided to incorporate a tribute to the Beatles in the design of the Vultures. The appearance of the Vultures, complete with mop-top hairstyles and Liverpool accents, is a clear nod to the Beatles. In fact, one of the birds is specifically modeled after George Harrison in both voice and appearance. After the Beatles withdrew from the project, the originally planned song for the Vultures had to be rewritten. Number 24 One of the creepiest things found in a cartoon from the Three Little Pigs? If you have seen this old cartoon, then you know how the story goes. But let me tell you about it in a nutshell. The three little pigs had to deal with a wolf that was painting and puffing and blew their house down. The Piglets 1993 short film is one of the first Disney classics. It follows the Piglets, who are actually named Nof Nof, Nif Nif, and Nuf Nuf, as they battle the big bad hungry wolf who wants to eat them. After the wolf chases them out of the wooden house, the three settle in the third Piglet's brick house where a grisly truth comes to light. In one of the episodes, we see a painting of sausages, under which father is written. As you know, sausage is made from pigs. So does this mean that the piglet's father was eaten? Number 23. Futurama is an animated science fiction series created by Matt Groening, the same mind behind The Simpsons. The show is set in the 31st century and follows the adventures of a delivery boy named Fry, who accidentally gets cryogenically frozen and wakes up a thousand years later. A unique aspect of Futurama is the use of alien languages throughout the show. These languages aren't fully developed languages in the traditional sense, but rather a form of background jokes and visual humor. Technically, the alien languages in Futurama aren't separate languages, but rather an encoded form of English. These alien languages appear in the background, often on signs, billboards, and other visual elements, providing an extra layer of detail for attentive viewers. While there are numerous alien languages depicted in the series, only two have been deciphered by fans. The first is the Alienese language, which is widely recognized and successfully deciphered. Alienese is a simple substitution code where each symbol corresponds to a letter in the English alphabet. The second deciphered language is the Niblonian language, associated with the character Nibbler, a small, mysterious creature with a voracious appetite. The Niblonian language is also a substitution code, but the symbols are different from Alienese. Number 22 Aladdin is a beloved animated Disney film released in 1992, based on the Middle Eastern folk tale from 1001 Nights. The film tells the story of a young street urchin named Aladdin, who embarks on a magical adventure after discovering a powerful genie in a magic lamp. An intriguing revelation regarding Aladdin is the confirmation of a long-standing urban legend surrounding the film. Director Ron Clements and John Musker have confirmed decades later that the character of the peddler, who appears at the beginning of the film and is voiced by Robin Williams, is indeed the genie himself. According to them, the original intention was for the peddler character to reveal himself as the genie toward the end of the film. This would have provided a surprising twist and a connection between the two characters voiced by Robin Williams. Due to story changes and editorial decisions, the revelation was ultimately removed from the final version of the film. For years, fans have speculated about the connection between the peddler and the genie, given their shared voice actor and similar mannerisms. Number 21 The Ant Bully is an animated film from 2006, produced by Warner Bros. It tells the story of a boy named Lucas, who is ruthlessly bullied by his neighbor, Sid. In retaliation, Lucas floods an ant hill in his yard, only to be magically shrunk to ant size by a wizard ant named Zog. As a tiny ant, Lucas is taken to the ant colony, where he learns valuable lessons about friendship, teamwork, and standing up to bullies. Along the way, he also learns a few lessons about secret societies. In the film, there's a character, the grandmother, portrayed as a paranoid conspiracy theorist. 
If you look at a rocking chair, you'll find a symbol of the Freemasons on the backrest. This is one of the most recognizable symbols associated with Freemasonry, a fraternal organization dating back centuries. Number 20. It's an intriguing coincidence when fictional media unintentionally intersects with real-world events. Such a case occurred in an episode of the animated series Johnny Bravo, which depicted the Twin Towers. The bizarre aspect is that the episode aired five months before the tragic event. The episode in question, titled Chain Gang Johnny, originally aired on May 14, 2001. It featured a scene in which the main character Johnny Bravo gets into an argument with the character Carl on the street. In the background, a poster can be seen with the words coming soon and an image of the towers. The eerie thing about this situation is that the episode aired before September 11th, 2001. Number 19. It seems incredible that a DuckTales episode that aired from the 1980s literally had the words, ask about the Illuminati in the background. In this episode, Scrooge McDuck goes to the doctor's office and in the background, we see a remarkable painting. In case you're not familiar with the Illuminati, it's a theory that says a secret society would rule the world. The Illuminati are also said to have strange rituals, symbols, and rank orders. Whether this is true or not, it's pretty strange that one of the creators chose this particular painting. Did he want to tell us something, or was he just bored? The fact that this was found in a children's show is very strange, to say the least. Don't you think so? Number 18. In the film Beauty and the Beast, there's a fascinating easter egg related to the locations of Anaheim and Valencia. During a scene in the film, Maurice Bell's father is depicted making his way through the forest. He comes across a series of signs, but the text on them is unclear and difficult to read. Upon closer inspection, however, it turns out that the lower sign says Anaheim. But what's in Anaheim, you might wonder? Well, two things. This clever reference serves as a fun nod to the real-world connection between the film and Disneyland, which has a significant presence in Anaheim. Disneyland is known as the first and most iconic theme park created by the Disney Company. Interestingly, the sign above the Anaheim sign says Valencia. This reference holds extra significance beyond the film's plot. Valencia is, in fact, the location of Six Flags Magic Mountain, a popular theme park in California. It's also the home of the California Institute of the Arts, a prestigious institution founded by Walt Disney. Number 17. Fantasia is a groundbreaking animated film released by Walt Disney Productions in 1940. It's a unique cinematic experience that combines classical music with animated imagery, resulting in a series of enchanting and imaginative segments. The film is directed by a team of famous Disney animators and features the iconic character Yen Sid. Interestingly, the name Yen Sid is not mentioned in the film itself and was actually coined by the animators. It's Disney spelled backwards and serves as a tribute to Walt Disney, the visionary behind the film. The animators chose this clever wordplay to honor their esteemed leader and create a memorable and fitting name for the character. The first appearance of the name Yen Sid can be traced back to the 1940 script titled Walt Disney's Fantasia, written by Deems Taylor. Yen Sid, depicted as the sorcerer and conductor in the segment, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, is an iconic figure in Disney's history. His stern demeanor and powerful presence captivate the audience as he wields magical powers and guides the mischievous apprentice, Mickey Mouse, on a fantastic journey. Number 16. Gravity Falls is an American Disney series that first aired in 2012. It tells the story of twins Dipper and Mabel, who are sent to live with their great uncle, the gruff Grunkle Stan. He gets the twins to help run a tourist trap called the Mystery Shack in the fictional town of Gravity Falls. In one of the episodes, someone is said to have noticed Slenderman behind one of the trees. But some people believe that this was an internet hoax and that Slenderman did not appear in the series. But the Slenderman character did appear in the comic book, Gravity Falls Lost Legends, which was released in 2018. This comic book tells three stories set during the final season, with one set in Grunkle Stan's childhood. Number 15. SpongeBob SquarePants is an animated television series that first aired in 1999 and has since become a cultural phenomenon. The show follows the adventures of SpongeBob, a cheerful and optimistic sea sponge, and his friends in the underwater city of Bikini Bottom. A notable element of the show is Squidward's unique house, which resembles the Moai statues found on Easter Island. Squidward, a grumpy and often misunderstood octopus, resides in a stone house with a large stone face featuring a long nose, reminiscent of iconic Moai statues. The Moai statues are monolithic human figures carved by the Rapa Nui people on Easter Island, located in the southeastern Pacific Ocean. These statues are known for their large heads with prominent noses and expressions. They hold cultural and historical significance, representing ancestral spirits and the achievements of the Rapa Nui civilization. 
Incorporating a house inspired by the Moai for Squidward in SpongeBob SquarePants adds a touch of humor and cultural reference to the show. Number 14. The Lion King is an animated Disney film released in 1994, known for its immersive story and iconic music. The film follows the journey of Simba, a young lion cub who must reclaim his rightful place as king of the Pride Lands after the tragic death of his father. A memorable song from the film is Be Prepared, which showcases the villainous scar and his plans to become king. Interestingly, the animators of The Lion King drew inspiration from the scene from a Nazi propaganda film from 1935 called Triumph des Willens, Triumph of the Will. The association between the hyenas in the film and Nazi symbolism is based on some visual similarities and scenes in the film that evoke Nazi propaganda. The connection between the scene and Triumph des Willens is not widely known to the general public. The animators likely studied the visual style and composition to capture the menacing and imposing atmosphere embodied by the character Scar in The Lion King. Number 13. Everyone knows Dora who travels with her monkey friend Boots through a fictional and supernatural world. In each episode, they stumble upon an animal in need of help. A talking map and backpack, along with other talking animals, help them reach their destination. The villain, Swiper the Fox, always appears to try to steal from Dora. Although there are fan theories about the evil fox and how he is deterred, that is not the scariest hidden thing in Dora, because fans of the show actually found something creepy in the theme song of Dora the Explorer. If you listen to the song backwards, you'll come to a creepy discovery and hear, Hail Satan. This phrase is often used by Satanists to show their devotion to Satan. Pretty creepy, isn't it? Number 12. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? The colorful underwater world of SpongeBob and his friends seems like the most innocent children's series ever. In the more than 20 years that SpongeBob has been around, it has been one of the most popular cartoon series ever released. But there is a theory circulating that Bikini Bottom, the world in which SpongeBob is set, is supposedly based on real Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Bikini Atoll has a dark and tragic past. Between 1946 and 1958, 67 nuclear weapons tests were conducted there by the U.S. government. SpongeBob himself has themes from the 1940s. A 2001 episode, Dying for Pie, featured an image of a mushroom cloud-like explosion. SpongeBob SquarePants was said to be the most horrific result of radioactivity that had mutated a sea sponge, although the creators of SpongeBob never confirmed this theory. Number 11. Have you ever seen the popular children's series Thomas the Train? It's about a family of talking trains who have all sorts of adventures on the island of Sodor. However, there are a number of theories circulating that can keep you up at night. One of the theories suggests that Thomas the Train is set in an environment you'd rather not be in. The island of Sodor, where the trains are located, would be the only safe place in a post-apocalyptic world, where the trains are cannibalized. Not only that, but if they disobey their master, the Fat Controller, they are punished taken apart, and sold for scrap. In one of the books titled Stepney the Bluebell Engine, Percy the Train says that locomotives on another railroad are not safe. Also, one of the trains says that the controllers are cruel and that they hate locomotives. Even Henry the Train was once buried in a dark tunnel. Number 10. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a Disney animated film from 1996, based on Victor Hugo's classic novel. The film tells the story of Quasimodo, a kind-hearted bell ringer who lives in the bell tower of the Notre Dame castle. Quasimodo's life takes a dramatic turn when he encounters the beautiful Esmeralda and faces the prejudice and cruelty of the malevolent judge Claude Frollo. In the animated film, there's a notable scene that contains various Easter eggs, adding an extra layer of fun and intrigue for viewers. In this specific scene, observant viewers can spot various characters from other Disney films. First, there's a brief cameo appearance of Belle from The Beauty and the Beast. She's seen in the background while reading a book. This cameo is a playful nod to another beloved Disney animated film, creating a sense of connection in a shared universe among the stories. Additionally, the scene shows Aladdin's magical carpet floating through the air. Finally, two men are seen carrying Pumbaa, the adorable warthog from The Lion King on a stretcher. Number 9. The Lion King is a Disney animated film that becomes embroiled in controversy surrounding a hidden message that was believed to be concealed in its poster. This controversy revolved around the belief that the iconic lion's face on the poster was intentionally designed in the shape of a woman. The controversy arose when some viewers closely analyzed the artwork and claimed to see a subtle integrated female figure within the lion's facial features. 
According to these claims, the shape of the lion's mane was formed in the outline of a woman's butt. However, many critics argue that the presumed female figure is simply the result of pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon in which individuals perceive familiar patterns or shapes. In this case, pareidolia can lead people to interpret the lion's mane as a resembling of a woman due to the complexity and abstract nature of the artwork. Number 8. You may think that minions were simple, heartwarming, and funny characters created for the Despicable Me franchise, but there is a theory behind their existence that will change your mind forever. The story claims that minions are based on Jewish children, who were taken away by the Nazis during the war. In fact, there is a picture circulating, in which we see similar masks that minions also wear. However, the website Snopes, which is known for their fact-checking, claims that minions are not inspired by Nazi era. Still, the masks are very similar. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number 7. Adventure Time is an animated television series known for its quirky and imaginative stories. Created by Pendleton Ward, the show is set in the land of Ooh, and follows the adventures of Finn the Human and his magical shape-shifting dog, Jake. In the episode, What Have You Done?, there's a surprising easter egg involving a character named Princess Bubblegum. Princess Bubblegum is a beloved character in the series, and is the ruler of Candy Kingdom. During the episode, Princess Bubblegum is seen reading a book with an intriguing detail. Viewers can spot the numerical sequence 5318008 within the text. This sequence is a playful example of numerical wordplay, often referred to as a calculator word or calculator spelling. When the sequence 5318008 is entered into a calculator and the display is flipped upside down, it roughly resembles another amusing word. Can you see it? Number 6. Boss Baby is an animated comedy film released in 2017, produced by DreamWorks Animation. The story revolves around a baby named Ted, who dresses in a suit and carries a briefcase. He secretly works as a high-ranking official at Baby Corp, an organization that oversees the balance between babies and puppies in the world. The film follows Ted's mission to stop an evil plot that threatens the balance between babies and puppies. In Boss Baby, there are clever references to the classic family comedy Home Alone adding an extra layer of nostalgia for viewers. Home Alone, released in 1990, tells the story of Kevin McAllister, an eight-year-old boy who is accidentally left behind when his family goes on a Christmas vacation. Kevin must defend his home against two bumbling burglars, using clever and inventive traps. Just like in the film, when Boss Baby applies aftershave, he screams just as Kevin McAllister did decades ago. Number 5. There are certain hand gestures and signals that are associated with evil and the devil. One of these is the Devil's Dog. In several of Disney's most popular and famous movies, the main characters make that same hand gesture. And believe it or not, it's not just the bad guys in the movies that make this gesture. It's also the good characters, like Cinderella and princesses like Jasmine and Snow White, just to name a few. Some people will say that the hand gesture may have been an accident, but others believe that there is a hidden meaning behind it. Number 4. Here we have another controversy surrounding the Disney animated film, The Lion King. A notable controversy relates to a fleeting image that some viewers interpreted as a secret message. On the original VHS cover of The Lion King, there was a scene where Simba, the main character, lies down and looks up at the stars. Some people claim that if you look closely at the arrangement of the stars in the sky, a specific word was spelled out. This claim gained attention when the film was released in 1994. The controversy arose because the letters S, E, and X appeared to be spelled out by the stars. However, it's important to note that the alleged message was not intentional. According to Disney, the letters were meant to spell SFX, as a tribute to the film's special effects team. The arrangement of the stars were coincidental, and not a deliberate attempt to insert a hidden message. Disney responded to the controversy by altering later releases of the film to remove the controversial star arrangement. In later versions, the stars were arranged to create a less ambiguous pattern, eliminating any potential misinterpretation. Number 3. With over 30 years and some 600 episodes to their credit, it's no secret that The Simpsons have predicted the future multiple times. Whether it's pure coincidence, some things just seem too strange to dismiss. The most uncanny prediction that they had made was the Ebola virus. The episode in question aired in 1997 and is titled Lisa Sachs. In it, Marge shows a book to the sick Bart titled Curious George and the Ebola Virus. The bizarre thing is that this happened seven years before the outbreak. But the Simpsons have also predicted events like the presidency of Donald Trump. The examples, however, run into the dozens. How is it that the creators of The Simpsons are so accurate with their predictions? Number 2. 
Brother Bear is an animated film produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios and released in 2003. The film is set in North America after the Ice Age and tells the story of a young Inuit boy named Kanai. Kanai has a tragic encounter with a bear, which results in him transforming into a bear himself. In this new form, he embarks on a journey of self-discovery and learns important lessons about empathy, brotherhood, and the interconnectedness of all living beings. While Brother Bear captivated audiences with its heartwarming story and stunning animation, it also contained a hidden easter egg for eagle-eyed viewers. This clever reference served as a fun surprise for fans of both films. The cameo occurs during a scene in which Kanai, now transformed into a bear, encounters a group of friendly salmon swimming upstream. However, you have to look closely, because it's only visible for a few seconds. As Kanai tries to catch a fish, we see the clownfish Nemo from the animated film Finding Nemo. Number 1 The main setting of the SpongeBob SquarePants series is the Krusty Krab, a fast food restaurant where SpongeBob works as a fry cook under the supervision of his boss, Mr. Krabs. One of the most iconic foods served at the Krusty Krab is a Krabby Patty, a delicious hamburger beloved by the residents of Bikini Bottom. For years, fans were intrigued about the secret recipe of the Krabby Patty. The formula for the Krabby Patty was closely guarded in secret, known to only a few characters in the show. Numerous episodes revolved around characters like Plankton, Mr. Krab's rival, attempting to steal the formula and replicate the success of the Krusty Krab. However, the actual ingredients of the Krabby Patty formula remained a mystery for a long time. It was only relatively recently that the secret was revealed. Are you ready for it? The secret formula includes a pinch of an ingredient called Poseidon's Poison, also known as King Neptune's Poseidon Powder. What's your favorite cartoon? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.